Yo, what is up, all you guys out there? The name is saying he bring you guys another prestige episode on Need for Speed, rocking the Nissan R34 Skyline. Because as we showed, or as I showed in the previous episode, for some reason the Skyline is just so much better than the R35. It's like I've connected with this car so well that I just know how to run it. So, for the next prestige. We're going to use the Skyline. We are on race seven of eight, CJ-tastic. Hopefully, we can get this thing done a lot faster than the previous one. And I'm going to do this every single time. If I can't beat it within three episodes, the following episode will definitely be the winning run. That's it. It will be the winning run alone. It might take me a whole bunch of times but you will just see that one winning run so without further ado let's get right into it now i have not driven this course yet at least on prestige so i do not know what to expect but let's hope we get it right let's go I have faith in you skyline do not disappoint well technically i should not be disappointed myself as that just happened but it's it's all right. We good. We good. Yeah. At the moment, I still cannot remember what this race is. So I should probably be playing it a little bit cautiously. Just get a feel for what this race is, and then next time just win it from there. Unless I can actually do well enough to. Win it on my first go, which would be insane if I don't hit that. If I can actually win this on my first go, oh my gosh, I would lose my mind. But I don't think that's going to be happening. Already self doubting myself, but hey, I'm not getting good lines anyway. So, ooh, almost missed that. That would have been bad. I actually don't think it would have mattered if I missed it. No, yeah, I would have definitely missed a checkpoint, so that would have been bad. All right. Seems like I got four miles to go. I'm gonna downshift it. Yeah, fifth gear, six. Downshift again. Doesn't seem to be bad. This is mainly a. This seems like it'll be really good for cars with high top speeds. So that's a thing. At least for now, I'm not sure if it's gonna be like a highway race, the whole, the highway run the whole time. If it is. Mm, this is definitely gonna be good for cars with high top speeds so maybe the gtr can do this one the r35 i mean because i think my r35 does have a higher top speed but at the same time for some reason the r34 just feels so much better than my r35 which is actually quite weird to me but hey if that's how it is that's just how it's gonna be i'll take whatever is my fastest jdm car Oh, can I get this? Oh my gosh, that was actually a really good turn. Oh, what time did I have to be? Oh, I have to be at 225. Ooh, I missed the turn. <laughs> I wasn't even close to getting it anyways. So, let's restart this. I can't believe I missed that, though. That was embarrassing. All I had to do was just go straight. For some reason, I thought, all right, time to turn. Yeah, by the looks of things, I would not be in the time. I had to be a 225. I was coming across the 220 so would not have happened but from the looks of things it's mainly a highway run so shouldn't be too big a struggle i just had to get the top speed that's it i also gotta get away from all the ai i don't want them to get in my way downshift this go gotta make sure i am for the majority of the time i really just want to stay hammered onto the throttle even though i did even though i will let off the gas I, oh my gosh i just died i don't know how that happened i should not, oh my gosh oh my gosh everyone's killing me we start <clears throat> but the i think like one of the things i really have to do is do my best to stay hammered on the throttle for as long as i can so I'm constantly just on the gas and constantly accelerating there. And that's just going to be done with like downshifting and stuff being the right downshifts. Yes. Of course, I'm going to have to release the gas hit the brake, you know, 
all the normal stuff, but just like how it was in the previous event, I did really well once I actually got my gearing right and was able to still hammer the throttle while being in the right gear. Like in one of the areas, if I just stuck in a fourth gear, I could just hammer it the whole way. Well, fifth, downshift to fifth gear, then downshift it again to fourth gear when the corners got a little bit tighter. I was able to just fly by that with ease. So I just need to learn. I saw that coming. Ooh, I saw that one coming. All right, gotta stay focused, stay focused. I'm just trying my best to like really cut as many milliseconds as I can. So that's why I'm like so close to these walls. I really uh, gotta get the perfect, perfect line. For some reason my car started moving. All right. Ooh, I'm tired too. Oh, by the way, just give you guys um, an update for my inactiveness for those few days. I think it was probably like a, almost a week, really. The reason why I was inactive was because I was actually out of town. I actually went to Disney for the weekend up until yesterday, which was a Tuesday. By the time I'm recording this yesterday, it was a Tuesday. This is a Wednesday. I was actually at Disney. You know, it was my sister's celebration. Oh my god! Whew! It was my sister's celebration for her graduating. So she wanted to go to Disney. We took her to Disney. We went to Magic Kingdom and Hollywood Studios, which was formerly known, which was previously known as MGM. So we had a lot of fun. And I'm actually really tired. For some reason, that entire trip, I was just dead tired i was yawning like crazy i'm still yawning like crazy even though i've gotten so much sleep i feel but i don't know why i've just been dead tired and i'm hoping over time i get enough sleep again at least in my own room in my own bed because maybe that's probably one of the reasons i don't know that's just the kind of logic i'm trying to put into all this but once i get back into like my comfort zone area Maybe my body won't be feeling as tired. I'm not sure if that's how it works. How did I crash out? Yo, that makes no sense. I'm trying to like have a story here and I keep on... Is that my third time crashing in the same place? Oh my gosh. For some, Like the beginning, like my first run, everything went pretty well. All of a sudden, I'm choking like crazy. Do this again, jeez. Hopefully this time I don't crash at the same wall. Tired again. Oh, thank goodness, AI is not in my way. Maybe this could be the run. Who knows? All I know is like I need to stay focused, pay attention to my gearing. Oh my god, ooh, if I screwed up there, I would have been so pissed. Please don't hit that taxi. And there we go. We're finally outside the damn. Oh my god, please don't hit that. Ooh, you have no idea how pissed that would have made me. Jeez, man. Man, anyway, we had a I had a lot of fun at Disney. I it's actually been a long, long time since I really visited. Normally when I go out to Orlando now, it's to Universal Studios, which I Personally, I enjoy Universal Studios more than I do Disney, simply because Universal Studios, Islands of Adventure, it's more adult-ish. Disney is still kind of a child's area. Like, a lot of the things we did when we were there, it was pretty much like different shows and kind of childish rides. There wasn't anything too, like, Ex like I wouldn't say exciting, but epic. Like how Universal Studios and Alice of Adventure, how they have the Hulk ride, how they have Harry Potter, how they have um uh, Rip Ride Roller Coaster, Rip Ride Rocket, however you want to say it, um stuff like that. Over at Disney, yeah, they have 
you know, the three big mountains, Space Mountain, Thunder Mountain, Splash Mountain, but that's at Magic Kingdom. Outside of that, there really isn't anything really for adults to really be excited for. Um, at MGM or Hollywood Studios, they have a uh, rock and roller coaster, which was fun, and they have Tower of Terror, but I don't, I don't do rides like that. I don't do, you know, free fall drops. That's just not me. I'm terrified to ever go on that. So, no, nah, that's <laughs> that's not me. Um, but that's kind of it to what I can recall. At Epcot, they have Test Track, which I love Test Track because I like the idea of building your own car. I think that's exciting. But that's, again, that's just it. It's more of an exploring the city. At, what's it, at Animal Kingdom, they then have um, the Everest ride. And I think they have something else, like one or two more, but it's just not much. Universal and Islands, it feels like there's a lot more there. Excuse me. And I failed, so I gotta restart this. But I that might probably be because I've just gone to those parks so much more that I really know what's there. But Disney Disney is still kind of a child family oriented area. And I'm not knocking them for that. Like it's good to you know, have something that the entire family can go and explore. But for me, at least, I'm just more of a Universal Islands kind of guy where I can ride a lot more big kid slash adult roller coasters and stuff like that. Yes, seeing a show, seeing like one or two shows isn't bad. It's not going to kill me. But when you think about it, Disney, that's kind of their big thing. What is there that is hitting me? There is like a slight pillar edging out. Yeah, you look at it, there's a slight pillar edging out just a little bit. That is what I am keep on hitting. Jeez, all right, I'm gonna do one more attempt if I can actually get through this tunnel and then I'm gonna end the video up there. But anyways, continuing on. Just for me, like, Disney, it's great to take your family, especially when you have younger age children. It's great to go. And I will never knock it. I had a lot of fun going to Disney. It was a great time. But it's just not something for me. It's not something that I would want to go continuously on and on. Because it's like, eh, I'm mainly just going to see a couple movie shorts and that's really it. Still fun, but it's not exactly my style. Again, I know I'll continue to beat this horse till it just dies. It's fun. Disney is fun. I enjoy Disney. But if I had to put it together, if I had to um choose i would just choose fuck ing i would choose sex fucking is truly the better way to go one more event one more try okay but yeah i would just rather choose universal and islands of adventure let me know in the comments down below though what you prefer do you prefer islands of adventure or islands of adventure slash universal studios or do you prefer disney yeah, Disney has a lot more, you know, places to go. They have so many parks. They have the Big Four, Magic Kingdom, Epcot, uh, MGM, so Hollywood Studios, and Animal Kingdom. And then they also have the two water parks, which is... I haven't really been to them in, like, a long time. I... was it? Blizzard Beach and Typhoon Lagoon? If I got those right, I've only been to Typhoon, which was really fun. But again, it's not much, at least from when I went. When I went, I was like half my age, I would think. Which, by the way, I'm 20. So, yeah, I probably want to say I was 10. But I was somewhere around that age. I've never been to Blizzard Beach. I really want to go because of that big water slide that looks so epic. 
which I haven't been to, now that I think about it, I haven't been to a water park in forever, and I've, for some reason, like, the child in me really wants to go to a water park. Like, I know you might think I'm a bit too old. There's no such thing as being too old for stuff like that. But it's like, I really want to go to a water park. I've gone to so, and the part that, what did I just hit? I'm about to end this video off here. Cause I'm getting BS left to right. That made no sense whatsoever as that Ferrari for the Italian just lost itself. But holy crap, what did I hit? That was insane. But yeah, I'm gonna just end the video off here. Going past the 15 minute mark. Again, in the comments down below, let me know what you prefer, Universal Studios or Islands of Adventure. Those are that's not what I want you to comment. I want you to comment what do you prefer more? I Universal Studios or Disney. There you go. Which one do you prefer? And if so, let me know why. Let me know in the comments down below. Maybe we can have some kind of interaction. So next time, this has been your boy taking heat. In a mount, peace.